Loss of resistance. Arrange a circuit having battery B, a tap key K, and an ammeter A in series along with the terminals P and Q. In between the points P and Q, place a steel wire of length 1 meter with diameter D, which acts as resistance wire. Note the ammeter reading and measure the current as I. Replace the resistance with a manganion wire of length 1 meter and diameter D. Note the readings of ammeter and measure the current as I2. I2 is less than I1. It means resistance manganion wire greater than resistance of steel wire. By this we conclude that resistance depends upon the nature of material. Now place a manganion wire of length 2 meters and the same diameter D. Note the current readings as I3. You will find that I3 is less than I2 because RM3 is greater than RM2 and RM3 is equal to 2 into RM2. By this, we conclude that the resistance of conductor of given material is directly proportional to its length when temperature and area of cross section remains constant. Now, replace the resistance with a manganion wire of length 1 meter but of a difference diameter 2D having resistance. Note the current reading as I4 with the help of ammeter. RM4 is equal to RM2 by 4. I4 is less than I2. Hence, the resistance of conductor of given material is inversely proportional to the area of cross-section when the length and temperature remains constant.